Taking your car on holiday to France or Spain offers two big advantages, freedom and value. You'll be free from the hassle of air travel, be free to pack all you need to make the most of your time away, and be free to explore at your own pace. With roads that are often less crowded and better maintained than in Britain, driving in France and Spain can be a genuine pleasure. What's more, access by car ferry is easy, and driving laws and regulations are similar to the UK. Brittany Ferries ports offer easy access to some beautiful parts of the world, all an easy drive in the comfort of your own vehicle. Make sure that you pack your UK driver's licence, registration documents and insurance details. Some fully comprehensive policies revert to third-party cover when abroad, so just check with your insurance company that you are fully covered. It is a legal requirement in France to have a few items handy in your car. First up, you're going to need to have a warning triangle. Secondly, you're going to have to have a reflective jacket or waistcoat. And finally, you're going to need to have a breathalyzer. If you want more information about the requirements in other European countries, you can always check out the AA.com's motoring advice pages. So you don't dazzle on coming vehicles, it is mandatory to either adjust your headlights or attach a masking sticker to the front of the headlamp. If you don't already have it on your number plate, make sure you have a GB sticker firmly attached to the back of your car. I know that one of the biggest concerns for first-time drivers on the continent is driving on the right-hand side of the road, but to be honest, it becomes second nature as soon as you leave the ferry port. Road signs around towns are generally very clear, showing key place names or autre or toute directions, which point to the main road for all other destinations. If you are thinking of having a glass of wine with your meal, the alcohol levels allowed for driving are much lower in France and Spain than they are in the UK. So if you are planning to drive, it's probably better not to drink at all. When you want to go a long way fast, France and Spain have superb dual carriageways and motorways, with regular service stations called airs in France. Many auto routes are toll or payage roads, so it's a good idea to keep your credit cards, change and toll tickets handy. And remember, the payment machines are on the passenger side of the vehicle. Speed limits are subject to weather conditions, so if it's wet or raining, they'll be reduced. Sat-navs are really useful, but speed camera detection is illegal in France and Spain, so be sure to disable this technology. In small towns and villages, free parking is commonplace. So, motoring abroad really can be a pleasure. Drive safely, and have fun discovering these beautiful destinations.